The third largest city in Alberta, Red Deer sits midway between Calgary and Edmonton amongst the rolling hills of the Aspen Parklands. The city is a major center for oil distribution, as well as being a place that is filled with history and culture. In fact, in 2003 the Department of Canadian Heritage pegged it as the cultural capital of Canada Red Deer has something for everyone, from indoor arts and entertainment to outdoor fun. Whether you are a lover of sports, nature, shopping or food, you will find plenty of things to keep you occupied while visiting the beautiful city. So, here is the list of the 10 best things to do in Red Deer, Alberta. Before we start, make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. The Mag. If you want to delve more into Red Deer's history, then head to the Red Deer Museum and Art Gallery, locally known as the Mag. The MAG's collection documents the history and culture of the city through textiles, archaeological artifacts, agricultural equipment, and art by local artisans. Wander around the gallery and stare at its permanent collection, Remarkable Red Deer, stories from the heart of the parkland. The gallery also has special exhibitions that run throughout the year. In addition to being a museum and art gallery, the MAG is also an education center that offers programs for people of all ages. Bring the kids to have fun creating art on a Saturday afternoon, visit yourself on a Tuesday morning, or check their schedule for an adult evening course with a local artist. Number 2. Alberta Sports Hall of Fame. If there's one place in Red Deer where you can experience a bit of everything, it will be the exciting Alberta Sports Hall of Fame. True to its name, the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame is indeed a place where you can witness the city's sporting heritage. Standing on large masses of land, this museum exhibits a multi-sport area where guests can have an enjoyable time. Some of the activities include virtual basketball, volleyball, hockey, and tread wall climbing. Its art gallery features unique pieces that art enthusiasts will surely love to check out. Number 3. Canyon Ski Resort Canyon Ski Resort is the largest non-mountain downhill ski resort in Alberta. It was the host site of the Alpine events of the 2019 Canada Winter Games. Just 8 minutes east of the city, the resort has 28.6 hectares of skiable terrain with 20 runs, 6 lifts, lights for night skiing, a large ski school, equipment rentals, a cafeteria, and a day lodge. A 164-meter vertical drop with terrain for novice, intermediate, and advanced skiers makes downhill skiing one of the best things to do in Red Deer in winter. The resort also has snow tubing facilities with dedicated runs and snow tube lifts. Number 4. Heritage Ranch. There's something incredibly romantic about a horse-drawn carriage or sleigh ride. After dark winter rides are particularly beautiful at Heritage Ranch, where the sleigh takes guests through a landscape featuring more than 40,000 shimmering lights. Hot chocolate and warm blankets complete the experience, or you can purchase a date night package that includes dinner at Westlake Grill. Younger visitors can enjoy daytime horse-drawn hay rides. The ranch holds a variety of seasonal activities and events, and the restaurant is always top-notch. There are walking trails and playgrounds all through the ranch. Number 5. Carrywood Nature Center. This can be done at the Carrywood Nature Center, a nature center that sits along the south bank of the Red Deer River. The area is open throughout the entire year, providing visitors with stunning scenery no matter what time of the year you visit. One of the Nature Center's main draws is its 5-kilometer trail system that runs through a 118-hectare protected bird sanctuary. View migratory birds while strolling along the trail or from its various viewing decks. The Carrywood Nature Center is also a hands-on center that has exhibits showcasing the area's natural history. There's also a music garden that features numerous outdoor instruments where visitors can make some beautiful music together.
Number 6. Sunnybrook Farm Museum. Meet chickens, goats, pigs, sheep, rabbits, donkeys and more at the Sunnybrook Farm Museum. You can also learn all about the evolution of rural life in central Alberta at this 4 hectare historic mm. farm and museum. Go on a self-guided or guided tour of the city's oldest farm and jump back to what life was like in Red Deer and the rest of central Alberta between 1880 and 1950. See how pioneer families ran a farm, from working the fields to baking bread. Staff at Sunnybrook Farm Museum even dress in period clothing to really make visitors feel like they are at a historic working farm. Don't forget to check their schedule for special events like the Ladies of Sunnybrook Farm Pie Sale, Fall Turkey Supper, and Pioneer Days Festival. Number 7. Fort Normando. Before 1893, when the railway connected Edmonton and Calgary, the Red Deer River crossing was the safest passage. A stopping house was built at the site, and it was later fortified to become Fort Normando. You can visit the recreated fort and learn about the history of the fort and the indigenous people who shaped this part of Alberta. The name Red Deer was actually a misunderstanding. Indigenous people called the river the Elk River. European visitors did not know what elk were, so they called it the Red Deer River named for a species they were more familiar with. Number 8. Troubled Monk. Troubled Monk is the Red Deer local craft brewery and distillery to visit if you want to taste delicious local craft beer. The brewery uses predominantly locally grown malts to create some award-winning beers. Visit the brewery's taproom and enjoy some of its best beers, like Golden Gate's Golden Ale, Pesky Pig Pale Ale, Brute of All Evil Brute IPA, or Rebel's Red Ale. Talk to the experts and learn all about how each beer is made, with or without a brewery tour. Even non-beer drinkers can have a blast at the Troubled Monk, as they also make vodka and hard iced tea. They even brew ginger ale and root beer made with Alberta beet sugar. Number 9. Mackenzie Trails Recreation Area. Mackenzie Trails Recreation Area is a trail system that's located within Waskasu Park in northeast Red Deer. The trails run along the Red Deer River, lined with spruce trees and greenery. Once the site of a sawmill, a gravel pit, and a dump, today the recreation area is home to some lovely paved trails that offer visitors the chance to spend a day amongst nature. In fact, it's a nesting area for Canadian geese. There are paved paths and picnic areas within the Mackenzie Trails Recreation Area, as well as a canoe launch for canoeing along the river. The area is open every day from dawn until dusk and can be accessed from 55th Street. Number 10. Bower Ponds. Bower Ponds is one of the most popular recreation areas in Red Deer. In the summer, there are boat rentals and in the winter there are skate rentals. It's a great place for a picnic in summer, or a game of shinny hockey in winter. There's an on-site concession area and a toboggan hill. Visiting Bower Ponds is one of the most popular things to do in Red Deer. The last word. So guys, this was the best list of things to do in Red Deer. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Population studies have shown that the city has one of the youngest populations in Canada. If you've come to Central Alberta for a conference, a tournament, or a getaway, you'll discover many wonderful things to do in Red Deer. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripwire is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.